Hello everyone. So today we are in the Hearts Mountains National Park in southern Tassie and uh, we're going to be doing a couple of hikes. So we're at the end of the road now, uh, just left the visitor's shelter and we're going to be doing what is signed the 90 minute return hike to Lake Esperance. Although it's only 3k's return so it's probably going to be more like 45 minutes. Um, but anyway, it should be a nice walk. And then we're going to be heading back just a little ways down the road to Arvey Falls, um, which is a place we've been to a lot. And then a little further back to the Waratah Lookout. It's a pretty cruisy walk this, it's been um, boardwalk pretty much the whole time for the first 10 minutes and until now. It's a bit steeper and rootier and stuff now but like, it's a very well worn path and all that. Heading steadily uphill the whole time but pretty gentle slope. It's not one that's going to get the heart rate going a whole lot. As you can probably see it's getting pretty wild out here, we're right in the clouds and it's blowing a bit of a gale but we've reached a junction now so the left fork takes you towards Park Peak right goes to Westbrook's Lake and it's not far away from here I think only be a few more minutes probably be some nice views I reckon on this track if it was clearer up towards the mountains it's still scenic as it is, but it would be better if it was clear today. Well, we arrived at Lake Esperance, and um, look, it's a pretty spot, although it would be a whole lot nicer if you could actually see the thing. Very choppy, the water. Usually there's like a nice kind of surf that goes around above it that provides a nice view, but obviously today you're not going to see a whole lot. have to come back here in summer I reckon. Still a really cool spot though. Come to the end of the Lake Esperance track now. I'm sure it's be a really nice walk in summer but today was just bloody cold and I uh, didn't get to see a huge amount because of all the fog and stuff in the way of the lake and it was just blowing a gale. But anyway, it would be a really nice walk in summer, and it was still pleasant enough today. Um, we're going to head off to Arvey Falls now, so I'll see you guys there. Okay, so we've driven back down the road a little ways, and we're now at the start of the Arvey Falls walk, which is a 10 minute each way walk. Really easy, flat along a well-made gravel path. It takes you to a lookout where you can look down on the main tier of the falls, but that, uh, not really a very good view of it. And the waterfall that sort of, when you think of Arby Falls, is the picture that comes to mind, is actually just a small upper tier. Um, I'm going to look for a way down to the bottom. I don't think it's possible, but I can only try. I have seen an old photo from down there, but I don't know how they got there. Like, that was a photo from like 100 years ago. I might insert it into the video, actually, to give you guys a look. Um, but yeah, at the very least, we'll get to the upper falls, and I'll take some photos and stuff. It's a bit clearer down here which is nice too, not nearly quite as wild as it was over at Lake Esperance. The Arby River is just down there in that little gully and you come to it in a minute and the last part of the walk it takes you along the river. There are actually two sections of the river that meet up just there. That other bit on the left is not the part you walk alongside. And 
just there is the top of the fall, so it's not far to the lookout from here. Well, I've reached the lookout for Ravi Falls. It's really pretty spot, and there's nice views uh, off into the distance. I'll give you a look round. So that's the upper section of the falls. Well, coming to the end of uh, the walk now. Nice stroll this. There was definitely no way to get down to the base of the falls, but it's a pretty enough spot from the top. And I hope you got a couple of good photos. Um, we'll head on to Waratah Lookout now, and that'll be the last stop of the day. Um, so yeah, it's a nice little area, the Hearts Mounts. It'd be better if it was a sunny day. Yesterday at that 22 degrees, which is beautiful. But anyway, it's still really nice up here and I'll see you at the Waratah Lookout. On the short walk now to the Waratah Lookout, that creek I just crossed is the creek that feeds Keogh's Falls, which is the waterfall you can see in not a lot of detail from the lookout. It's mostly obscured by all the trees and stuff that have grown in the way but the views into the distance from the lookout are still really nice and it's, as you can see it's an extremely short walk we're already here can't see a huge amount from the lookout it's very foggy hopefully we'll be able to see a bit of the waterfall though